What's going on guys? Anthony G 5 for Texas Talk and Stuff. It is Christmas time, so let's go through what you might want to buy for an R&D guy like myself. First and foremost, pocket screwdrivers. This is a snap-on one, magnetic. I had enough of these where I handed all these out to everyone in the shop. Freebies, obviously. Nice to have. To follow that up, if you don't want the snap-on one or don't have a snap-on dealer, head over to JD Tico and grab yourself. Literally the Power Stroke Dude deal. Yes, I like it enough. I bought it twice. Pry bar gets used. These pliers are pretty much indispensable for what I do. I do pretty much 80% of everything I need. The cutters are a little bit lackluster some days, but overall, the strippers work great. The bolt shears work great. And the pistol grip designed with the needle nose work great. Awesome option. It's, I think, 25 or 35 bucks. Go to JD Tico if you want that deal. Another indispensable fact. Paint markers. Good stocking stuffer. We use them all the time because we do testing and we need to figure things out if something moves during component testing. Now this is a biggie and this is where we're not going to go stocking stuffer. High end, high quality Allen keys. These are both SPs. I bought these late last year myself. The reason I'm saying high quality is because these are $50 a piece, so they're not actually cheap. But there are other options, obviously. The reason you want to go high quality ones for what we do is, look at the length of this. This is a 3 8 guys. Very long Allen key. People in this industry will appreciate that. So if you have an R&D guy or someone in the industrial field, high-end Allen keys, guys. Both metric and Standard. These ones are magnetic. There's other versions where there are little ball ends on them with a little ring on them made by Weha, I believe. These ones are magnetic. They don't work on stainless steel, but they are a great asset. Continue with the Allen keys. I don't even know if Snap on has these. These are gear wrenches. I think these were 50 bucks. You go from, I think, 4 to 10. My 9mm has been welded into one Allen as an extraction tool. So, mid-length Allens for what I do. Awesome. Worth their weight in gold. When you need them, you need them. Sometimes the stubby don't work. Sometimes the longs twist. So, these guys, really nice to have. Now, here's where we get into the big, big boy purchase. I highly would recommend if you have an RE guy that does what I do. Snap on long ball lens. All day. I don't use every single one of these actually by any means. And it's just because the head design on the ball end is superior. I've used almost every brand. I have not yet tried Mac RBRT by any means yet, but that may change. So this is the big purchase. This is a gift if you were to give this to someone. These are like 300 something bucks, I think. I don't remember. This guy is awesome. Little coking handled nut driver. 3 8 wobble. Put a socket on it, you have wobble. And boom, boom, it does both. Really indispensable. Another stocking stuffer idea for any technician, no matter what would be. That guy. A magnetizer and demagnetizer. This works for everything from the Allens to the Phillips to anything you need. Awesome. This one's from Husky. This is a replacement from my old Weha one. And it's great. <clears throat> so other things we would like to see would be these great gifts options. These are not going to break the bank by any means except maybe these guys. Pair of dikes. These are Nipex. It doesn't have to be Nipex. Just a good solid pair of cutters or flush cuts. Yeah. We use the zip ties a lot. Nice pair of cutters and strippers would be nice. Now, this is where you have your options. You can go with Nipex or Fujia. I have both. I actually use the Fujia ones more, but the Nipex twin grips would be a great addition to any technician's arsenal, be it DIY, R&D like myself, professional automotive. Another good thing would be we all need them. We all use them. DIY across the board. Everyone does. Buy a good little bit kit, guys. 
I have like three or four of these ones from Makita. Doesn't matter the brand. We always need beds. They're like 20, 30 bucks. Perfect little stocking stuff for gift, guys. And it's awesome. Now, more specific, you want something fancy pants. Do a lot of electrical. Let's get a nice little meter. This is from Kawitz. Nice little digital meter. You get your leads, you get a probe for temp. Get some extra batteries and it is a nice bright screen. This is $45 at Kawitz website, guys. They will ship directly to you. Great meter. Does everything it should do. You don't got to spend money for the flukes and stuff. This meter is doing everything. The flukes and the snap-ons do just fine. Plus, you get great visibility, guys. Awesome little purchase. Another fun one. Now, I'm partial to snap-ons, so... Ratchet and screwdriver gets used for a lot of stuff. A little heavy on the purchase end, but any technician would appreciate this. Along with, I would recommend this highly if you were being very generous because these are pricey. A quarter inch drive torque wrench in dual scale, newton meters and inch pounds. In my industry, this is indispensable and it's a must. And a couple more options, guys. Doesn't matter your battery platform. I'm a Makita guy. Full power. Portable power supply. This is a little 12 volt. They make them in 18 also, guys. Milwaukee, DeWalt. Everyone has one, I believe. This is a great stocking gift idea for anyone that has a power tool battery system that they work with. And also, if you're unlike G95 and you do wear gloves, and some don't, give those guys that don't wear gloves some band-aids. And let's not forget about the mechanical babies, like Betty right here. Gotta buy them something every now and again, too. Let's get her dressed up. She's gonna get new grips. So, this is Anthony, G95 for Tech Stock and Shop. Christmas uh, purchases, guys, or gift ideas. Simple, hardline tools. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all.